Other things that you can do is um, change the, the way, the environment of your teaching, if at all possible. So in thinking, you start out with a good idea. You have to start out somewhere in thinking that to, to promote change and improve student understanding from your previous mode of teaching, uh, document it and plan out your, your time and allow you typically more time than you need, and this is very specific, but um, the practical, I tend to be more practical because when it goes, you're the one walking into the classroom and things may not be the way you wanted them. Even if it's an innovative um, or a new structure of um, an instructional setting where things are, are maybe not bolted to the ground, where you have the tables, you have the technology if you use that, um, you need to be familiar with your classroom and be able to adapt to and this is very scary and you, but you learn from that and you keep your your chin up and um, you promote that this, you let your students know from the get-go from the beginning that we will do with this we may be interacting in small groups if that's and, and that's a way of, of, of how you can make active learning occur in your classroom which then makes it um, easier or, or it kind of goes hand in hand with being an active educator in the classroom. So forego the traditional lecture where students in student centered where it's focused on letting the students work out their problems, their uh, the, the, the object of your lesson together and form a community within the classroom or sub community and learn to trust each other but also know that they can have you come and facilitate it. But to do that from the beginning, um, because there may be resistance. Um, most students um, learn more effectively when the instruction is more attuned to their intellectual development, but it is so specific to the content. So don't push aside your expertise in the content because that all matters and it can be very tentative and slippery and it's humans it, I, we have found it that in physics education research that it's great the, with the fact that we can do this research is that there's a common commonality among humans uh, at a particular state in their life especially in an educational setting so you may find commonalities keep an eye on those you may find things that are idiosyncratic to the lesson or to that student population you might note them, but you just have to make a decision on how much time you want to spend on this active learning. It's going to take longer than the traditional lecture. There are many resources out there and one would become overwhelmed. Um, choose something that you feel comfortable with. Um, get feedback, assess, keep notes for your own benefit. Um, keep positive, it may not improve. It takes people a long time to do this, even people who do research in this um, area. So, but you will be, and as you love doing, teach, you love being with your students, you're going to impact so many students. Mm -hmm.